ask any parent and they will tell you having children is expensive, but it can be extra costly for those who turn to alternative methods like adoption to expand their family. So there's a new online trend for parents hoping to adopt crowdfunding. New at 6 tonight, News Channel 5, Shannon Royster joins us now with more on this. Shannon, they're using GoFundMe. They are, because unlike some of the other crowdfunding sites, for a 5% fee, you can, go to, you can use GoFundMe for personal fundraising. Child. Dan and Liz Grove have been happily married for four years, and now they're hoping to expand their family. Even though they can have their own children, they first want to adopt. One in three families talk about adoption, but only 2% actually act on it. Um, and so we decided pretty early on that we wanted to be part of that 2%. They hope to adopt a child from Poland. We're just excited to meet them, <laughs> whoever it is. But it doesn't come cheap. We were told at the outset that it would be about thirty-two to $35,000 um, uh, for everything. We're doing everything we can personally, but because the cost is just so high with different fees, uh, it takes a village, right? They found that village of support through crowdfunding. And we were just looking at different ways to fundraise, and GoFundMe came up pretty quickly into our minds as a good way to do so. We um, have raised almost half, just about half of the money that we need, um, right around $17,000. The Grubs started their campaign 11 months ago, and they're not alone. So far this year, there have been over 1,000 GoFundMe adoption campaigns, over 27,000 donations, and more than $2.4 million in contributions. It's been such a great way for people to kind of contribute and, and see how we're getting there. Mm -hmm. And we can provide updates and link it to Facebook and everything. They're also raising money through GoFundMe by knitting tea koozies and selling puzzle pieces folks can put their name on. Once the child arrives, they'll put the puzzle of Poland together and hang it. When he proposed to me, he used the concept of a puzzle that I was the missing piece for him. And so for our adoptive child, we just feel that they are our missing piece for growing our family. And today, they were told they need to raise $10,000 by the end of the week for paperwork and travel expenses to Poland. Now, they hope to go there in a few months and bring home their child. If you would like to help them raise that money, you can find their GoFundMe link by logging on to NewsChannel5.com. For now, we're reporting live from the newsroom. I'm Shannon Royster, News Channel 5. Great story.